Well guys, had another appointment. I'm up in uh, Delaware, Ohio, and uh, noticed that there was a hobby store uh, that I've never visited, literally half a mile from my appointment. So I'm just gonna walk in, Hobby Central, Delaware, Ohio. I think online it kind of indicated that they were more about games and stuff, but let's go in and see what they got. It says they have trains on the, on the billboard. How are you? So it looks like a lot of, you got some nice paints. Got Rebel paints over here. Lots of comic books and models. Got a little bit of train stuff back here. Uh, rockets. Okay. Got a little scenery section here. Let's see if they have anything that uh, that I don't have that could work for me. Boy, not gonna lie, it's a little on the limited side. A little bit on the limited side when it comes to train. Got some end scale Bachman stuff, some couplers, some woodland woodland scenics. Uh, you know, I'm going to be most of my scenery materials up at the layout. So, while I buy some foliage here uh, to put, um, I'm making some bushes. Gosh, 22 bucks. I can't see doing that. I would normally go. I would normally go to um, my local store over in Columbus on Indianola Avenue, but yeah, I think we'll get a little bit of dark green foliage for our bushes that we're making. Then we can never have too much static grass. So we've got seven and four. Static grass, making these bushes and shrubs. Let's go check out their other paints that they have over here. Yes, yeah, it's like they got some gaming paints for like Warhammer and stuff. Yeah. Sure, does anybody use this stuff uh, in the modeling and model railroading? Kind of like true color paints and Some of those other guys, Vallejo, AK paints. All right, you know what? I might see here. Let's see if this is. I'm sure, this is water based. Is this stuff water based? Yes. It is. Almost everything Cool. I think that'll do it, guys. So, uh, nice guys. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of train stuff in there. Um, they mostly do like gaming and comic books, stuff like that. But uh, I did buy some static grass and um, some foliage, some woodland scenics foliage. And as I was checking out, I checked out all their paints. And as I was checking out, they had uh, the Vallejo rack right next to um, right next to the register. So I grabbed a couple couple uh, colors that I needed for for some rust effects on the cars that I weathered. But nice guys, uh, Hobby Central, Hobby Central in uh, Delaware, Ohio. Check them out if you're up this way. Not a whole lot train wise unfortunately but if you're into models um gaming comic books warhammer uh and they do have a nice paint selection hey worth checking them out all right guys i know this is a short one but just wanted to uh just wanted to throw you know anytime i come across a local hobby store i usually try to visit it and i usually try to buy something when i'm there uh, i mean without without these guys and gals most of these guys are mom and pop type operations without them you know, the hobby gets even more, uh, 
more challenging, I guess. You know, it can be really challenging to find a lot of these products right now, a lot of support that you need. It's a very different when I was a kid, so. All righty. Hey, thanks for joining the channel, and I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Hope you have a great week, and uh, happy railroading. Take care.